Wrangler Network is at Charlotte McCoy's Music Road Live. It is the CMA Awards Week, and Scotty McCurry stopped by for a moment. How are Hi. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Congratulations. You just won the AutoZone Liberty Bell Outstanding Achievement Award. Yeah. Dang, that's like a mouthful. <laughs> it, it is. It's, it's, it's what a huge mouthful. honor, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, you know, it's an honor, and, and it's going to be fun getting down to Memphis uh, for the Liberty Bowl and yeah. um, get to see some kids with St. Jude and help out there. So it'll be a, it'll be a good time. For sure. Okay, people at home might not know what this award means. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I think it's just uh, it's all about the last few years being able to help out, and uh, you know, St. Jude's been a big part of, of everything we've done in country music, obviously for yeah. sure. And they do amazing work over there. And, and just trying to, uh, you know, get the singing, everything is cool, but, you know, what we're really here is to help people and, and all that. So, so, yeah. You have a really uh, great opportunity with your music to reach out to so many different audiences and people throughout the world. What do you want your music to tell them? Yeah, you know, I just I, you write music to touch people, and you hope it impacts them in a positive way. And a lot of crazy things going on in the world, so you hope that somebody can hear your song and take it back to a good moment or a memory or, or just the good times in life, let them relax, forget it all. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what song that you perform has the biggest impact on you as a person? Wow. Um, Asking the hard questions. Yeah, I'll tell you the deep ones. Probably Five More Minutes would be the one that every night that I sing it, it's just a, uh, it means a lot to me and uh, wrote it for my granddaddy and I, I feel like every night I can feel him there with me when I'm singing it, so that, that'd probably be the one. Okay, well what about new music? Is there one that really hits you strong? Wow. Well, we're about to get back in the studio here in just a little bit, really? so we have some songs lined up that I'm excited about. Um, the new single right now is In Between, and yeah. that's a song that uh, I love and wrote back in 2015, and uh, just about life and who I am, and, and uh, yeah, so I love that one. Yeah, okay, In Between. In Between. Let's talk a little bit about it. You said you wrote it in 2015, it's 2019, so yeah. life's changed a lot for you since life's then. Life's changed. But the same thing, same time, things are a lot the same? Yes, absolutely. I would say 99% of the song is still still accurate. There's one line that talks about a, I'm a far cry from being a one-night stand, but I ain't ready for a ring on my hand, and that that has changed. <laughs> I, I do love... You have I, the ring on your hand. I do hands. love this <laughs> ring, yes, yeah, so I'll keep it. But uh, other than that, you know, the song is still all me. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that fans would be surprised to know about you? One thing, fans would be surprised. I feel like your life was like thrown out there. Yeah, they know they know a lot about me. Um, I don't know. One thing I always tell folks that they don't believe me is I've seen a Black Panther. No I've seen way. it in the wild at the beach in North Carolina. I was by myself. Oh, so no witnesses. No, no witnesses, but I saw it. Like that's crazy. Yeah, a lot. So they don't know that about me. No. Yeah. So basically, go with you, and we'll just see some crazy exotic yes, animals. Absolutely. I'm awesome. giving tours uh, next year. Yes. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the award, and then also you. good luck in the new year. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, everybody. I'm Alexis Bloomer. If you like my outfits today, be sure to check out Wrangler.com.